Hi YouTube land, this is Michael Zingara, host of the 28mm Sci-Fi Wargaming Show. And uh, basically what to I'm going to do today is a uh, profile on uh, a company and their miniatures that you can use for your sci-fi battles. Uh, what you have before you right now are the uh, Space Rangers produced by EM4 Games. Uh, EM4 also has a sister company called Moonraker Miniatures that handles their uh, metal miniatures. But basically these are the best deal on the market in my opinion as far as a, uh, a heavy armored uh, space uh, marine type uh, alternative. Uh, I don't like Game Workshop as a company or their pricing so uh, to play the games that I like to play I have to find alternatives. Now basically these come on a five man sprue. I believe it's about three and a half pounds a sprue. So that's about five bucks American so you're paying about a buck a guy. Uh, actually I think I did the math. It's 89 cents a guy at the current exchange rates for uh, American money to British pounds. So right here I have a uh, normal space marine. This is a for scale comparison, and this is the actual weapons trooper. Let me see if we can get him to focus. Come on, camera. All right, so you see he's a highly detailed uh, miniature. Uh, basically, you can pretty much make this weapon to anything you really want. Um... It does have an under bolt weapon, so you could have a, a grenade launcher option, which I would recommend. And uh, nice crisp detail all the way around. The pose are pretty staticky, but I don't care about that. I'm an old school guy, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, basically, I think too much emphasis is uh, put on that. And for uh, 89 cents a uh, guy, how can you go wrong? So basically, that's the, the basic troop type. Okay, and then there's, on each sprue, there's these three weapon options. Let's see if we can get this guy to focus. So that would be a heat gun or a plasma type weapon. So basically, that's what that guy looks like. Okay, and then we have uh, a kinetic weapon option, heavy bolter per se or something like that, or just a nice uh, man portable battle cannon. So that works good. The plastic on these guys is uh, pretty decent. If you need to do some trimming and stuff, there's no problems. They take model glue to glue it together. See if we can get this guy to focus. Come on. Ah, come on, come on. All right, so he's coming into focus now, and there's the laser cannon option. So basically, this is what I use. Uh, I do a human army that's. Uh, made up of uh, light armored guys, medium armored guys, and heavily armored guys. And these guys are my heavily armored. So that's what they look like. And they also give you a command option on each sprue. So that's what that guy looks like. Now this is the original plastic that it came out back in the 90s when uh, Grendel no, it was Grenadier, I believe, it was making these models. So, it's the same amount of detail. It may not look like it because of the color of the plastic. That's okay. So, all in all, a very good deal. A very good option for your sci-fi war game. 
Now they also make a different uh they make a bunch of different lines. Here is their robots line, which are basically Terminator robots. Uh, these came from the Future Wars game from Grenadier. And uh, I bought uh, a couple just to see what they were like. These are also priced very decent. I think it was like two bucks a guy, American. So, that's what he looks like. He's armed with a uh, bolt gun with a grenade launcher on the bottom of it. Really nice detail on these figures. Super easy paint job. You just basically prime them black and then go over with uh, your choice of metallics and then do a few little bits here and there to add variety. Uh, if you're looking for an army and you're new to the hobby, I suggest doing one of these. It's probably the for the easiest paint job and uh, quickest turnaround as far as getting on the board. There's a heavy weapon option. Pretty much the same paint, paint scheme. Nice pose and everything. Looks tough as hell. All right, here's a, another uh, normal trooper. The normal troopers come in about three or four different poses. Let's see if I can get him to focus. So that's what that guy looks like. Then here's like a, a grenade thrower type option. Ooh. Real nice, uh, super good detail. Even though these were made in the 90s, they're metal figure. They are awesome. I prefer metal over any medium. And here's another heavy weapon option in a different pose. So basically, you have to get these on uh, MoonrakerMiniatures.com. You have to send off across the pond. So... Here's them in the group. Here's how they compare to uh, a Space Marine. Almost spot on perfect. So totally in scale. Really great model, really great value. And uh, here's how they compare to the Space Ranger guys. Okay, so I'll give you guys some uh, thing for scale. So. Basically, go check out that EM4 uh, website. They have a lot of uh, different options for uh, just guys in the, uh, you know, flak jackets and uh, armed with uh, weapons. It's all sci-fi. Um, they also have, uh, you know, gas mask guys. They've got, if you're playing like a Wasteland uh, futuristic game, they still make some of the best models for that, so... Basically, uh, that's my review of uh, EM4 Space Rangers and um, their robots. Um, I recommend anybody picking this up. Uh, really killer line. Uh, when money permits, I'll probably end up getting more of the Terminator style robots. I've got a little mini battle group that I'm going to do my next video on. And uh, talk about uh, No Limits rule set. If you're not aware of the No Limits rule set, you should pick it up. It's free on the net. You can download it. Just type in No Limits Sci-Fi Rules, and basically you can, uh, has a very good rule system with a point system where you can create any army you, your heart desires and dreams up. If you make something that's super beardy or butch or tough or overpowered, you're going to pay the points and you're opponent will have you know for every one guy you got that's super beardy he'll have five guys that can kill him so it's totally balanced and I totally enjoyed the rule set since it came out back in the 90s all right guys I uh, want to thank you for uh, viewing please like and subscribe if you got any comments about the miniatures uh, I appreciate hearing from you and may the dice be with you